The ego center represents the cyclopean eye, which is located somewhere in the head between the two eyes, but it can be shifted one way or another based on ocular dominance or strabismus and amblyopia. Egocentric visual direction is the direction of an object in space relative to oneself. What you'll need for this are some push pins, some pieces of paper, a foam board, and a meter stick. Overlap two pieces of paper by about an inch and tape them together. Put the paper on top of the foam board and pin it down at the top. Now flip it over, fold your paper down and tape it to the back of the foam board. Holding the board parallel to the floor, have the subject fixate on the pin at the end of the board. Then mark the center of the patient's pupils on the paper. You want to keep these aligned every time you make a measurement for the rest of this experiment. Also make sure you mark the midpoint between the patient's two eyes. Next, place a second pin to the far right corner of the foam board. Have the patient fixate on the right pin and then bring a third pin nearer to the patient between the patient and the fixation pin. With the near pin in place, the patient should see the near pin as double while fixating the distance pin. The examiner will then move the near pin right or left depending on what the patient tells them to center the distance pin in between the two images of the near pin. What do you say, Taylor? Uh, you need to move the near one a little to the left. A little bit more? That's about perfect. And then you push it in. Now remove the near pin and its hole will mark the point for you. Now repeat this last step while fixating the center distance pin and then repeat one more time using a pin to the far left corner of the foam board. Once you've made your three holes you can remove the pins from the top of the foam board. Then remove the whole paper from the foam board. Now draw a line connecting each far point to its corresponding near point. Once you've drawn all three lines, this is what it should look like, and all three should intersect at a point behind the plane of the eyes. The intersection point marks the ego center. The next step is to mark the axes. The x-axis is drawn where the paper was folded. And the y-axis is the midpoint between the two pupils. Now measure the coordinates of the ego center in millimeters. Now repeat this process using a neutral density filter and again with 10 base left yoked prism.